Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. Today we're going to be working on this fifth wheel behind us here. Um, customer called and, and he admitted uh, he was putting a new battery in it, I believe yesterday, and he hooked the battery up backwards and uh, he let the magic smoke out of something. Um, the converter and the uh, transfer switch are right side by side in the storage compartment and he did start the generator and it did not transfer so I'm figuring he probably popped the anti-polarity fuses on the converter um, and he may have let the magic smoke out of the transfer switch. A lot of these transfer switches now have a little computer board inside of them. Um, it's not so simple anymore as just having a transfer switch to transfer from the shore cord to the generator. A lot of them will have that little computer board and uh, just uh, it is never a good idea to hook a battery up backwards. Uh, whenever you're changing a battery in, a, in a, any RV, please, please, please be, be careful to put the battery back the way it belongs, uh, the correct polarity, okay? So uh, uh, I haven't even started on this. Uh, we're going to go get started right now. Um, customer uh, took down the wall uh, in that storage compartment. That gives us access to the transfer switch and the uh, and the converter. So uh, uh, we're going to get uh, there's a couple of plugs. Uh, there's an AC plug and some uh, uh, cable plugs attached to that wall. We're going to get those loose so we get that wall completely laid down out of the way and get in there and see what's going on. So let's get started. All right, here's that wall that he took down. Like I said, we'll just get these. Get these two plugs out of here and it'll allow us to get that wall completely out of the way which will make make life a lot simpler get those uh, cable connections out of the way and then we'll get this uh, ac plug out of the way and uh, then we'll have uh, a lot easier access to what we need to access are y'all in the dark can y'all see it all? So that box should come right out of that hole. And then we should be able to do this right here. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm going to be real disappointed if that won't go back through there. There we are. Now we can get this wall completely out of the way. Y'all watch out. Don't let me, uh, don't let me knock you over. <clears throat> so here is our transfer switch. Conveniently, the lids are off of it. And actually this does not have a board in it it's just a simple transfer switch so hmm uh, and here is our converter so let's uh, let's get our meter out and see if put that right in y'all's way there let's see if this is even putting out power the converter that's where we'll start got to start somewhere right all right put our meter on the DC scale set it up here so hopefully you all and me can see it can you see that move you a little bit closer maybe Hopefully you can see that. All right, let's find a ground. We can find right one right here quickly and easily in that transfer switch. Let's go over here to the converter. My arm's probably right in the way. And that's only battery voltage. So let me go grab a pair of needle nose pliers. We'll pull those anti-polarity fuses out of that and see if they're bad. And, you know, a quick note about being honest with your service guy if you've uh you know if you've done something wrong all right that fuse is bad um 
if you've done something wrong, like hook a battery up backers, just tell the service guy. Um, I mean, everybody makes mistakes, so it's nothing to be embarrassed about. Just a mistake. But because this customer was honest with me and told me, you know, what uh, what happened, what started it all, you know, I could skip a lot of steps in my diagnosis. That fuse is bad too. Um, I could skip a lot of steps in my diagnosis and go right to the to the heart of the problem. Now, hopefully, when I pop this fuse in and get my arm out of the way, this uh, this meter is going to go up to like 13 something. Get in the right place. That's a hard spot to hit. I tell you, they never put those anti-polarity fuses in a in a convenient place to get to. I missed, I missed all. Yeah, here we get in the right place. Be ashamed to have to unbolt that. Unscrew it from the floor just to get the fuse back in it. All right, I got her. And the meter, my lead fell out. So let's see what she says now. Twelve four. Um, I believe that's just going to be battery voltage. Let me go check the voltage right at the battery, which I, th I think is going to be twelve four, and. Uh, I'll be right back. So yes, that 12.4 volts we were reading at the converter is battery voltage. Oh, okay. The humming I thought was the converter. It's not the converter, because I just unplugged it. I don't know what that humming is. I'm just gonna make sure we have power coming to the converter. And we do. So we got a bad converter. Uh, we know that because the only thing that we're showing on the DC side is battery voltage. Now I want to do something here that sometimes I forget to do is actually check the ground as well as the positive right here at the converter. Because I'm going to do that by use it, putting my ground lead right on the ground lug on the converter and then going to the positive and we got 1229 so that's that's battery voltage um no oh, let's plug it back in real quick 12.3 so it's it's actually putting out like one volt of charge so 12.38 unplug it it drops down so yep the converter is bad so let's uh let's get ready to switch out this converter we'll get the converter switched out and then we'll start looking at the transfer switch first things first right Hopefully, we can wiggle that thing out from under the screws in the back. Yes, we can. I'm going to go unhook the battery so that we don't have to worry about getting sparks and arcs and stuff here. So I'm going to go unhook the battery. Be right back. We got the battery unhooked. Now, let's go ahead and get our 12 volt wires unhooked from the old converter first try
quite a reach over. Hoping those wires will. I think I'll be careful not lay my arm down in that transfer switch too. There's uh, stuff down in there that's live. Of course, it's always the, the ground wire they don't give you any extra of. Right? Because that would take all the fun out of it, right? They give you enough they gave you enough wire so there's our old converter let's go let's get the new one so there's the new one we didn't get two lugs loosened up here getting ready to accept our battery cables All right, now we gotta see if we can find some some extra wire anywhere all right I know I'm probably gonna be just completely in y'all's way but I'm gonna get I'm gonna get these battery cable wires hooked up yeah actually I could run that I could run that posi one around some of these water lines over here and probably gain probably gain a foot of wire so I think that's what we're gonna do try to anyway because they definitely a little bit on the short side. Ooh, look at that. They got all kinds of wire now. Man, you reckon I can do that with the, the negative one too? Oh, yeah, we had some extra there. Awesome. Oh yeah, man. Got all kinds of around. Can y'all see? I can't. I can't even see the camera. So I, I don't know if y'all can see anything or not. I know my arms are right in the way, probably. We're just gonna get these battery cables snugged up good. There's the ground. There's the positive, or the hot one. I think either way to say it is just fine. All right. We'll screw that down in a minute. All right, let's get the meter set back up here. Let's go. I'm gonna go hook the battery back up, and uh, y'all watch the meter. Hopefully, y'all can see that. Should show battery voltage here in just a second. All right. As y'all can see, we got battery voltage. I'm getting ready to plug the converter, the new converter in. Then we got 13.4. So I'll verify that out the battery, make sure it's making all, all the way to the battery, but yeah, now we're charging the battery. All right, so now that the converter's working, let's get started on this transfer switch. I do have, well, you know what? No, let's get that converter screwed down so I don't forget that. So I'm gonna jump up right in y'all's way here. All right, so now the converter's working. 
Uh, let's do a little bit of checking on this transfer switch. Uh, there's a there's a legend or a schematic here in the lid that I'm looking at. Uh, so let's just uh, do a little check in here, see what's what. I'm gonna hook our meter up here, get us a ground in here, start doing some checking. See if we can figure out what is what in here. So over here should be the, the load. That should be the, the power coming out. Yeah, it's only 97. Man, this one over here should be the, that's millivolts now. So this is the generator side over here. Um, wow, he's plugged into his garage and uh, <laughs> he only has, he only has 97 volts coming out of the garage. That's not real good. Um, let me go, uh, tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the shore cord and then we're gonna start the generator. All right, the uh, shore cord is unplugged. The generator is running, as you can probably hear. So this should be the, so where's the power coming in from the generator? Well, I know why it ain't transferring. There's no power making it from the generator here. Uh, are them breakers <laughs> off? Those breakers off? All right, I think the customer just realized he's got the breakers off on the generator. Let's see if that makes a difference. Yeah, that makes a huge difference. Let's see if it transfers. <laughs> Let's see if it transfers now. You see, we've got a, got a green light over there on the other side of that transfer switch. So this does have a little board in it somewhere. There we go, we transferred. Now we're making good power. Yeah. So there we go. So there you have it. Uh, the converter is working because we replaced it. The transfer switch is working. And um, so it's transferring power. Uh, don't know exactly why we have such low power coming out of his garage. I went in his garage and checked. And he's got 100, almost 130 volts. So uh, now I did not video uh, testing this because it was inside his garage. Uh, but uh, come to find out, uh, he is running the camper off an extension cord, which is fine as long as you're tr not trying to run the air conditioners. Um, and one of the extension cords that he was using was missing the ground post. So what happened was if I'd have been checking from neutral to load, we would have had good voltage, but I was checking from ground to load. And th that's a mistake I make way too often. Um, I really need to try to remember when I'm checking power to not only check from the ground, to the load but also from the neutral to the load so um, this is a good learning experience uh, don't make the same mistakes that I do uh, in the garage so somewhere between the garage and here we're losing a lot of power I'm gonna check I'm gonna check that both the ends of the shore cord and um, stuff like that and just and just investigate that a little bit but um, uh, the main thing was he wanted the generator to work um, he's getting ready to go tailgating this weekend and he really wanted to take his camper with him. So um, that's all I got for today. Uh, thanks for coming along. Um, and uh, thanks to all my new subscribers. And um, I really appreciate that. Don't forget to give my videos a thumbs up. Uh, there's links down below for my email, my post office box, my Amazon store. Go check all that stuff out. And I'm going to go up road and fix another one. And uh, y'all have a fantastic day.